Investment for beginners. Things you should know before buying your first Florida investment property. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn Mizinski and if this is your first time and you want to know about Orlando real estate, be sure to subscribe. I post videos every Monday and you do not want to miss out. In today's video, we'll be covering buying your very first investment property and things that you should know before you do so. Should be what kind of property you are looking for. Are you looking for single family home? Are you looking for multi-family home? Are you looking for a land? Are you looking for commercial? What kind of property are you looking for? Number two should be your strategy. What is your strategy? Are you just trying to playing it safe and making sure that your mortgage is paid every month, that you get some money every month? Are you trying to get a higher return, do a short-term rental that is not guaranteed every month? What is your strategy? Number three should be your location. What kind of location are you looking for? The location you decide on will determine what kind of tenants you will be looking for. If you are looking for a vacation area, then you need to be in the short-term rental Airbnb type of area. So you need to have your location put down. And number four, you need to have your team of experts. The number one thing you should know before investing, this is very important to help you start building your investment portfolio. And those team of experts include your realtor, a very knowledgeable realtor in the area. Number two should be your lender. Your lender will help you figure out what you can afford to even invest in your properties. Unless you are buying everything cash, you're gonna need a loan and your lender will help you get that loan. Number three should be your tax attorney or a CPA so they can help you save money on taxes. Number four should be your financial planner who can help you figure out your finances and line them up. Number five will be a really good contractor. Unless you have properties that is ready to go and do not need any repairs and would never need the repairs in the future, then you need a pretty good contractor or at least at the least a really good handyman. Number six, should be a management company. If you're gonna manage it yourself, you have to determine that. I would strongly suggest for you to get a home warranty company. A home warranty company will help you, you know, save money. If you don't know what a home warranty company does, I made a video about home warranties and what they do. So be sure to click on this video. Those are your team of experts that you should have to help you build your investment portfolio. If you have a really good realtor, they already have this team of experts on their contact list. I know I do. I have my team of experts, all these people that I just mentioned to you, I have them for my clients. So if you have a really good realtor, they should have all these other people and they will connect you with them but you can also find your own if you don't have a realtor yet. So if you have any questions about this video or any other videos, or you have questions on everything that I just covered, be sure to subscribe. I post more videos every Monday. Next week, I will be covering what investment property is best suited for beginners. Be sure to turn in.